What's going on guys? This is Arctic Fox. Welcome back to the channel. I think we need to talk about the turds that are floating around in the punch bowl that is the true crime community. Two of which are Bullhorn Betty and Zav Girl. Zav Girl. You know the one that the one that turned the Kylie Rodney case into a complete shit show and docked several teenagers in the process and went after creators that are actually reputable unlike herself. Yeah, that's the same one. Well, she has now decided that she's going to put a little boy's autopsy photos behind a paywall and put them up on, on Patreon. Now, you can say that she's not selling the pictures all you want, she put them behind a paywall. A $3 paywall, granted, but a paywall just the same. So people are going to have to subscribe to that lowest tier of her Patreon to see the photos. Now, you can say she's not selling them. It seems like she's selling them to me. But, Patreon has deactivated her account. Which is good. Because what Zav Girl did, in my opinion is the lowest fucking scumbag thing that I have seen in quite some time any creator do in this community. And the fact that this bitch has almost 100,000 subs and that she's so close to getting her, paint, her YouTube play button makes me fucking sick. This bitch literally brings nothing to the table, guys. You watch any of her 9-10 hour live streams, it's just a bunch of her sitting there reacting to different news clips and stuff looking like she's choking on a cock. I mean, come on. The girl looks like she's methed out, too. I don't know if she is or not, but she certainly, certainly looks like it half the time. And this girl has no heart for what she did. And she wasn't very smart about it. She did put it behind the, the paywall, but she didn't password protect that information once you paid the money to see it. Anyone could download it and put it out there for the world to see, which is how another worthless piece of shit creator, Natasha Cooper, got her hands on it. She's starting to sell the pictures or put them out there behind a paywall, whatever the fuck, however you want to put it. Six and one half dozen the other guys, and I know that she foiled and got the pictures legitimately. She got them legally. And just because what she did was legal doesn't mean that what she fucking did was right. Now, Gannon's grandmother has been on Facebook. She made a post earlier saying how terribly upset she is. Landon, the mother, said that this is her worst nightmare come true. You know, she, she feared this happening. Now, thank God Colorado's working on laws to protect this type of thing from happening in the future. And I'm not saying that we need to get rid of the FOIA system at all, because that's a very important element in place that has helped to overturn a lot of wrongful convictions. That has helped to bring injustices to light. But we do need to protect these kids' autopsy photos from being released and put out there for all the world to see. And of course, to no surprise, Bullhorn Betty was on her channel fucking simping her heart out for Zav Girl earlier. Of course, she's another piece of shit cut from the same cloth. See, these creators that sit here and tragedy pimp this shit out like this, they don't care. They're not here to help. Putting those pictures of Ganon out did nothing to help. His piece of shit murderer has already been put behind bars for life. Okay? Justice has been served for Ganon. And sitting there looking at his pictures, sitting there like you're taking a magnifying glass to him. Is that a string? Is that a string? Oh no, that's maggots. That is the most disrespectful fucking thing that you could have done. And then you've got your people in the comments on there talking about making just disrespectful comments all the way around. And I don't care. You can come after me all you want. I don't scare off easy, bitch. So, 
Just come after me all you want. What would be a perfect thing to have happen is that if, God forbid, God forbid, I don't even know if you've got kids or not, but if, God forbid, something were to happen tragic to one of your children, I hope and pray that they release the autopsy photos in the most gruesome fashion on your child if something ever happens like that. That would be justice. Because I guarantee you, you wouldn't be like, oh, well, it's okay. I got it all legally. There's nothing wrong. You wouldn't be like, oh, well, they put them out there legally. They didn't break any laws. I guarantee you, if it was your kid, if it was someone you loved, you wouldn't be all so nonchalant about it. And neither would Bullhorn Betty. But y'all are all creators cut of the same cloth, just like Oh Justice for All when he unblurred those photos of Kylie Rodney. Y'all disgust me. Y'all make me fucking sick to my stomach. And you make me almost ashamed to be part of the true crime community. But if it's not for creators like myself and the glare and even the clip channels calling your asses out, then y'all will take over this platform. And I'll be nothing but one big fucking cesspool of snakes in the grass that go after these families that attack the families of missing people, that do shit like you did, and put these pictures of deceased children out for all the world to see. Not giving a shit about how it's going to affect the family. Not giving a shit about how it's going to affect Gannon's sisters or brothers or whatever. You don't care. Didn't care how it was going to affect his mother. Didn't have care how it was going to affect his father, his grandma. All you cared about is, hey, it'll get me clicks and views. It'll get me some people joining my Patreon. You know, and when Will was on there earlier, talking about how all of this was a really shitty thing for you to do, he gave you the opportunity to come up there on the Glarers channel. And explain yourself. But conveniently enough, you said that you had a shitty internet connection and you couldn't come up. However, your internet connection's not shitty enough to prevent you from doing eight and nine hour live streams. Your internet connection wasn't shitty enough to prevent you from going on Laura's panel after that. So, you just continue to show that you think we're all completely stupid. And then you come out there and you try to make comments and you try to say that everyone's attacking you. Yeah, bitch. People are attacking you because you did a really shitty, scummy thing. No one here has sympathy for you except for maybe Bullhorn Betty and she's not mentally stable. She's proven that time and time again. So stop your crying and your boohooing. Buckle up, buttercup. It's going to be a completely rough ride for you, probably for the next couple of months. You've been through it before. You went through this when you pulled your shit by putting up Chuck up on your panel and doxing those kids and putting their lives in danger to the point that they had to delete their fucking TikTok accounts. They feared for their lives. You went after legitimate creators like Ickedmel. You're not a legitimate creator. You're not anyone that knows how to do your research. You're not anyone with any type of scientific background. You've not experienced the shit that these families are going through. So you have no place here. Except for to run your mouth and to hurt families. Kind of like Bullhorn Betty does. So my best advice to you, Zav Girl, would be to delete your fucking channel. Shut the fuck up and go over to the kick platform where all the rest of the scum of the earth are moving to. Because that, that is where you belong. Not here. As always, guys, I do want to thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Y'all be kind to one another out there. I'll see you soon in the next one.